This is a tutorial for the child's flow mask decal. Start by peeling off the excess of the sticker decal sheet. The next step involves the transfer tape that came with your kit, a bladed tool, and a pair of nippers. We're going to lay down this transfer tape onto the decal that you want to use and then burnish it down with heavy pressure. The tape is only lightly sticky, so it needs a little extra help. Next is to take the bladed tool and help the decal lift off and stay onto the transfer tape. So you're going to get it started with the edge of this blade. The important point is to not touch the back of the decal adhesive with your hands and to get it off of that backing paper. The bottom of the decal has two alignment spikes to help you position it to the left and right. These spikes align to the thumb catch at the bottom of the flow mask cover. The bottom edge of the decal aligns with the part line on the bottom of the flow mask cover. So You'll use the spikes as a way to guide yourself left or right, but you'll eyeball the part line yourself. It can be pretty tricky to get it aligned, so it might be necessary to lift and place and lift off and replace a few times until it looks right to you. You want the bottom of the decal to align with that part line, but not overtake the mask opening above it. So once it looks aligned, pat down that center. Choose one side to work on first. Here I've chosen to place it down and fix it on the right side first. I'm going little by little and patting down just the center as I go up the right side. I'm concentrating on keeping the center patted down and ignoring the air bubbles forming along the outside edges. Make sure that you keep the opposite side, and in this case the left side, free and floating while you're working on the side that you've chosen. It might be necessary to undo and lift up the transfer tape along with the decal as you're going and putting it back down if a wrinkle forms. Keep going slow and steady. If you make a mistake, just lift it back up and then pat it back down again. It can also help as you get further along to fold over the excess side and hold on to it as you keep on working. If you notice the decal coming loose from the transfer tape, you can use the bladed tool to pat it back on. Turn the mask cover as you get further towards the top. Add a bit of tension to the transfer tape to help you smooth out some of the wrinkles towards the end of this leg. Now that this leg is finished, it's time to smooth out all the side bubbles. Now we're finished with that right side. Time to release the right side and start concentrating on the left side. Repeat everything that you did on the right side and apply it to the opposite side. If you make a mistake, peel it off as you need and redo it as you need. Peel off the transfer tape on the finished side to give yourself a little extra room to work with. As the decal gets to the top, start to align it to the other leg that was already finished. Now the decal's finished, it's time to take that transfer tape off and do the finishing touches. There's a lot of edge bubbles to take care of. Pat them down from the center towards the outside to push the air out. take care of these leftover positioning spikes. Lift them up and clip them off.
Congratulations! You have a newly decorated mask cover. Keep it as is or use the extra stickers on the sheet. Thank you so much for your support of this project and I'm wishing you all the best, most fun adventures while staying safe out there.